Well, thank you for joining me. This is the introduction to dietary strategies for giving your immune system the upper hand. This is one video of multiple parts, and I hope you'll watch all of them. Well, first of all, I want you to understand that eating well, even in the short term, can reduce infection risk. And in this series, I'm going to be covering dietary strategies and strategic supplementation. But I also need you to understand that adequate sleep, physical activity, stress neutralization, and taking all practical steps to prevent infection are equally important. But as a dietitian, I really wanna focus on nutrition strategies. Nutrition and immunity are directly linked. First off, because when we take in nutrient-dense foods, it provides a delivery of crucial nutrients for our whole body's health. It also balances pro and anti-inflammatory responses in the body. It allows our system to actually fend off pathogens, that's bacteria and viruses, and it allows the immune system to more effectively recover so that once we're done with an infection, we have fewer chances of long-term impact and we're more resilient and bouncing back quicker. There was one study that found that people aged 65 to 85 who ate five servings of fruits and vegetables a day showed a significantly stronger response to a pneumococcal vaccine than people who ate two or fewer servings. So it doesn't take a lot of healthy food to change the immune response. I want to assure you that there is no magic bullet. Anybody who's out there promising you that if you take one nutrient or you take one action, that's not going to work. You have to do everything in balance. So eat right, get plenty of sleep, neutralize stress, and then these things are actually going to help take care of your health now and into the future. So as a preview to what we're going to cover in the next videos, be sure that you consider your overall dietary pattern, feed your internal zoo, eat the rainbow, fish for nutrients, sweeten lightly, imbibe responsibly, and supplement smartly. So that is the last of this episode, and I look forward to you watching my future ones on YouTube. Thank you.